Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions and recurring decimals. So the first thing we're going to look at here is uh, what exactly are recurring decimals. Uh, so a recurring decimal is a decimal that goes on forever. So for instance, if we have the fraction 1 third, uh, this is equal to 1 divided by 3. Now 1 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.3333 3, and so on. Uh, so there's an infinite amount of 3s here. Uh, so 1 divided by 3, we, we would say is equal to 0 0.3 recurring, and we use this dot above the 3. Now, uh, there are other examples. So for instance, 6 divided by 11 is equal to 0 0.54 recurring. Now here we use two dots uh, because uh, this uh, 5 and this 4 are constantly repeated. So this is equal to 0 0.54, 54, 54, and so on and so on. So uh, we use two dots if there's a sequence of digits that are repeating and we put one dot above the start of the sequence and one dot above the end of the sequence. Uh, but if it's just the one number or one digit that's repeated, so for instance in one third, then we just use one dot. So in the rest of this video, we'll be converting fractions to recurring decimals. There's two methods we can do it. And then in the second video on this topic, we'll go the other way and convert recurring decimals to fractions. Uh, but first of all then, let's have a look at one method which we can use. So in this example, we have to convert 2 elevenths to a recurring decimal. So there's a sort of trick we can use, which is the first method. Uh, so what we're going to do here is convert this fraction so that the denominator contains nothing but 9s. So we're going to multiply by 9 over 9, which is going to give us 18 divided by 99, or 18 over 99. Now this is a sort of trick, if you like, uh, because everything that's on the numerator is going to be the recurring decimal part. So we're going to have 0 0.18 recurring as our decimal equivalent. So 2 elevenths is equal to 0 0.18. And this works for any fraction if you can turn the denominator into nothing but nines. So now let's have a look at the second method. So in this example, we have to write 5 over 37 as a decimal. So uh, the method is basically just using the bus stop method for long division. Uh, so 5 over 37, if we set up the bus stop method, looks like this. And let's put some zeros in as well because we might need them. Uh, so essentially, we're just doing the bus stop method here. So how many times does 37 go into 5? The answer is 0. Uh, so we carry the 5. So now we're looking at how many times does 37 go into 50? And the answer is once. And we get a remainder of 13. So now we have to look at how many times does uh, 37 go into 130? And the answer is 3. So 3 times 37 is 111. Uh, so that leaves us with a remainder of 19. So uh, now we have to work out how many times the 37 go into 190, and the answer is 5. So 5 times uh, 5 times 37, sorry, is equal to 185. So that gives us a remainder of 5. So now we just get a recurring decimal of 0 0.135 because we're back to having 50. Uh, so we get 0 0.135, 135, 135, and so on. Uh, which we can abbreviate as 5 over 37 is equal to 0 0.1, whoops, so that should be a 3, excuse me, so 0 0.135 recurring. So we just have one quick example at the end here, so we have to write 7 over 33 as a decimal, uh, so 7 over 33, now we can use method 1, which is the sort of shortcut method, uh, so if we times by 3 over 3, then this is going to give us uh, 21 over 99. Now we have nines on the denominator, so the numerator is going to be the recurring part of our decimal, so our decimal is just 0 0.21 recurring. So in the next video we're going to look at how to go uh, the other way from a recurring decimal to a fraction, but that's pretty much it for this one. If you'd like to get some practice in with fractions and recurring decimals, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on all of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.